Hello, I am Professor Hulle from G H Rai Soni Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is my second lecture on Smith chart, and uh, here we will start with the first example where we will try to understand the calculation of the line parameters. Here uh, we will try to find out the standing wave ratio, impedance at maxima. impedance at voltage minima and the reflection coefficient to begin with the procedure is a common <coughs> first we have to normalize the given impedance again the normalization is the same that is load impedance which is z divided by its characteristic impedance which is z not and after this we will get uh, the impedance as a 0.6 plus j 0.5 first we will plot this impedance on the smith chart and then we will deal with the calculation of the standing wave ratio uh, that is impedance at voltage maxima voltage minima and the reflection coefficient here first we will plot the impedance which is 0.6 plus j 0.5 which is the intersection of again the real circle which is 0.6 circle here this is, this belongs to 0.6 and this belongs to the 0.5 its intersection and it is a plus that's why it is on the upper side of the or uh, smith chart upper side of the smith chart here for the calculation of the smith chart uh, or a standing wave ratio on the smith chart we have to take uh, suppose the center of the smith chart is the o point and this is the p point then we ha we have to take Uh, the op as a radius in the compass and we have to draw the circle and the intersection of uh, uh, this s circle on the rhs right hand side of this center of the smith chart will give us the standing wave ratio which is the s here is the demonstration of that this is the center of the smith chart we are taking the compass and uh, uh, we are calculating this value and the intersection of this on the rhs here we will read out its coordinate here it is 2 means here uh, the value is the 2.21 which is the standing wave ratio that is the calculation of the s here then next we have the two calculation which is the calculation of the voltage maxima or impedance at the voltage maxima and impedance at the voltage minima here on the smith chart this point this point corresponds to the voltage minima and here this point corresponds to the voltage maxima we are looking at the two point that is corresponding impedances at the voltage maxima and the voltage minima and if we are reading out its coordinate it will give the value of the z max and z minima here if we are calculating its value z max will be that is 2.2 plus j0 and z minimum will be the 0.46 plus j0 because these both points lies on the real axis real axis which is the horizontal axis then the next thing is the calculation of that is reflection coefficient k which consists of the magnitude which consists of the magnitude and its angle now here the angle as i had discussed in the previous lecture the angles are available on the outer margin here this is the angle of reflection coefficient here for that calculation of the angle of the reflection coefficient we need to extend the impedance point we need to extend the impedance point along the border of the smith chart uh, along the border of the smith chart which is here because we want to use these coordinates mm. now here in this case the whatever angle made by angle made by this line with the horizontal axis just we will read out its coordinate and here if i am getting here closer to that value here its angle is uh, uh, i will show here this particular point and here this angle is 113 degrees 113 degrees here this is 110 here and uh, here the approximate value is 130 degree this is the calculation of the angle of the reflection coefficient similarly 
if we are going for the calculation of uh, its magnitude here in that particular case for the calculation of the magnitude we have to take this radius of the circle and we have to plot on um, the bottom um, uh, things are given here and here is the reflection coefficient of e and i that is voltage and current here if we are taking from the center of the graph and if we are plotting something like this whatever here this should be same as this and just read out its coordinate and those coordinates will give us the value of or magnitude of the reflection coefficient which is something like this whatever this magnitude and just read out that value in this particular case the value is the 0.38 is the value of the reflection coefficient now here the total reflection coefficient will become here this value here which is k is 0.38 and its angle is 113 degrees that is 113 degrees this is the method for the calculation of the reflection coefficient that is about this particular example if we are going for another example uh, or uh, uh, before that here this is uh, here is some other method other method for the calculation of the magnitude of the reflection coefficient which is s minus 1 divided by s plus 1 because s is already known here we have calculated the standing wave ratio by using this also we can calculate but here i guess this method is the simple take this particular value here and plot here and calculate the value but uh, i am giving for other option now here to begin with another example which is related to this now here in this example the first three things or three calculations are same that is standing wave ratio z max z minimum only the new thing which i have added in this particular example is the calculation of the distance between the load and the first minima we will deal with this the procedure is same here normalization which i have already done here this is the normalized value of the uh, impedance here which is uh, here 1.64 plus this particular value we will plot it we will draw the circle then we will find out the vswr that is old standing wave ratio z max z minimum and then we will deal with the calculation of the distance between the load and first minima here i begin with this mid chart this is uh, the plotting of the impedance and here due to this minus sign due to this minus sign here due to this minus sign here uh, it is below the margin and here if i am dealing with this this is this be, this belongs to the minus j 1.14 here and this belongs to the real circle which is 1.64 and so on and then we have to take this o as a center because center has a lot of importance in this mid chart and here this as a radius and we need to draw the circle its intersection on the rhs of the center point will be uh, the value of the standing wave ratio which is here center we are uh, drawing the circle and here uh, we will read out z max z minimum here in this case whatever the here value is there this intersection that belongs to the z max this belongs to the z minimum and so on here are the result i am not focusing on that the calculation of the s z max and z minimum because already we have covered in the previous example here the my main focus is on the calculation of the distance between the load and first minima now here always in case of this mid chart we are calculating the distance in terms of the lambda in terms of the lambda now here we are taking extending this particular load to the outer margin to calculate the distance and here is uh, the minima because uh, we are interested to calculate the distance between the load and minima this is minima will be here and if uh, we are going for the maxima we have to consider about this point now before that how to deal with this now suppose this is the transmission line whatever we have here uh, in this case this is the load side which is zr in this case and this is the uh, source side which is zs that is sending and uh, voltage here and this is load now in this case for this calculation the standing waves are created something like this and we are looking for we are looking for the first minima this this here we are at the load and we are traveling towards the minima means we are traveling towards the generator we are traveling towards the generator that's why from the load from here we have to travel 
towards the generator that is nothing but in clockwise direction towards this minima point towards this minima point and whatever the distance we will get along this border in terms of the wavelength that will be the value of the that is our distance between the load and uh, the first minima here if uh, we are calculating its value which is 0.198 lambda is the value of the distance between the load and first minima in this particular example similarly here uh, the wavelength is given already here which is 2.5 this is uh, that is lambda is given means 0.198 into uh, that 2.5 will be uh, distance will be available in terms of the meter because from this meter chart we are not able to calculate the distance in terms of the meters but we are able to calculate in terms of the lambda and that's why we are converting the lambda into the meters this is related to this example now here I will go for another example here in this example we are trying to calculate or we are interested to calculate sending and impedance which is ZS in this case now here again procedure is the same first we have to normalize this given impedance dividing by the characteristic impedance and then we have to plot and uh, uh, then we will uh, go into the detail process here first we are plotting the impedance here which is 2.09 plus J 1.36 and then we will draw the circle taking the center of the graph or center of the Smith chart here and again we have to deal with the distance we have to deal with the distance that's why we have to extend this particular load point toward the outer margin that we will do here we are extending it on the outer margin and in this particular example the length of the transmission line is given as 1.183 lambda here the complete one rotation of the Smith chart one rotation on the Smith chart here this complete one rotation of the Smith chart is nothing but 0.5 lambda here 1.183 lambda is nothing but here the two rot rotations maybe in the clockwise direction maybe in the anti-clockwise direction depending on whether we are calculating toward the load side or we are calculating toward the source side now for this example the effective value of the lambda is only 0.183 now we will look at into it now here if it is the given is the load impedance given is the load impedance this is zr which is normalized value is this is zr and the normalized value is 2.09 plus j 1.36 and we are interested to calculate ZS that is sending and impedance or input impedance here in this case available value is here and we are traveling towards the generator that's why on the switch chart we have to travel from this load in the clockwise direction in the clockwise direction and uh, towards the uh, uh, that is a generator in the clockwise direction and we are able to calculate that value here we want to move by how much distance the length of the transmission line is a one point uh, that is 183 here this one means two rotations it is a, a not having that much meaning here but 0.183 is the effective traveling in the clockwise direction which is shown something like this this value is a 0.183 means we will come here then we will extend this value towards something like this uh, uh, by using the scale and we will read out its coordinates and its coordinates will be the effective value of the that is input impedance here this is the 0.183 lambda we are extending just we are going to that particular point and we are reading its coordinate now look at here if we are reading its coordinate this this is the 0.5 uh, this is the point 5 which is the intersection of this particular line and minus j.6 uh, and he, somewhere here uh, that particular line is a uh, 0.65 is somewhere here is its intersection just we are reading its coordinate and those coordinates will give us the value of the input impedance in this particular case means these are uh, the some simple methods simple tricks and it is a lot simple than the calculations which we will use in case of the transmission line in the next video i will discuss in detail the calculation of the input impedance for the parallel transmission line and some of the complicated example here for this particular video this much is the stuff thank you one and all